eight young players who we lost on that day back. Logan Pike, he just pushed that ball, very, very old-fashioned Stanley Mills, straight down that right-hand side, said, come on then, match me for pacing. Fortunately, Vitek could match the save. And oh, that's a great ball into Garnacho, and he didn't get hold of it. It was a perfect position for him, and any sort of decent contact, he had a great chance of scoring there. Yeah, could quite easily have been 1-1, but Vitek, and then Garnacho finds himself in... Donacho has gone down there. Penalty. I'm not so sure. Sure it was. I, think he, I think he won the ball there, I have to say it. But Nacho went down, the referee had a great view of it and he put it to the spot straight away. Surrounded by all those blue shirts. It's a fabulous first touch for him. Alejandro Ganacho. It really was. Having said that, I don't think that it was a penalty. Uh, it was a, actually it was a little bit he did get some inside the six yard box but United still have so many forward here well that's a great shot nice pass yeah it's excellent isn't it? he's gone at you nice ball in towards McNeil on the to the port really enjoyed that pass there from Daniel Gold that fed I think it was I don't really matter who it was what definitely matters it was Charlie McNeil what definitely matters is what Sam Mather did when the ball eventually fell to him got his head over it opening up they really are opening up now oh Garnacho oh unlucky hits the woodwork bent it towards that far post it looked for all the world like it was going to be a fourth to bounce survive. Yeah. And that is really commendable for Mark Gerardo. The desire to actually skip past Mallon after he'd lunged himself to the floor. The referee would have had no option but to give it. Price, and again Price, but it's a poor ball back to him. Garnacho can nip in. Garnacho going on a run. Garnacho. McNeil up with him and he looks for McNeil through the middle. McNeil's in here. McNeil to finish it. What a stop. United but denied by Nash. Brilliant from Garnacho. And he does well to ride the challenge of Campbell McNeil. But once he gets through, it's actually poor from the, the Everton. It's really poor. Headed away by Cobby Menu. There's a real foot race, Garnacho. Garnacho against Mallon, who's treading through cement. Garnacho, McNeil waits. Garnacho all the way. Brilliant. What a run. What a finish, and he deserves that. In the last minute of the game, the fitness to run about 60 yards, to keep his cool, and to slot it home. And Manchester United have four. An outstanding performance. They're through the goal. I mean, we, we just mentioned moments ago, didn't we? Expending his energy that he really doesn't need to, but he sees this as an opportunity. And like you said, 60, 70, maybe even 80 yards. I mean, Mallon is just completely given up, whether he was cramping up while he was trying to keep pace with him. But I just think here, you watch him pull up a little bit and he's just completely gone. And then, I mean, that is such a clever finish at the end of a lung-busting run by Granacho. And like you said, if anybody deserves a goal tonight, it, it is definitely him and, and he's going to be a key key feature if United are gonna are gonna go on and win this competition with performances like we've seen tonight right, we're right at the end Garnacho bringing the house down running a full 60 yards keeping his head calm finish 4-1 to Manchester